Hey, welcome back. Eric here with the Savvy Campers. So let me just start off by saying one thing. We've gone camping and we've gone camping a lot. Um, due to what's going on in the world today, um, we have not had many other options but to go camping and we've been trying to stay away from a lot of other people. So that means kind of backcountry boondock type camping. So we've done a lot. And first off, uh, we've used these Lion Energy batteries and this is what we're going to talk about today. So we've done quite a few videos of some load testing, install, a lot of other things. So if you're interested in those, make sure to subscribe and you can check out all the other videos we've got on Lion Energy products. And so let's start off talking about our camping trips. We've not gone to one campsite that is serviced. We've boondocked every single time and we've gone um, this year, uh, we've done quite a few three day trips, um, but the specific trip we're talking about was a three day trip and we have not used our generator one time this year. Um, I need to start it up and make sure it's going. I brought it with me the first couple times, but the last two trips, I just didn't bring it because we did not need it. So in this video, we're gonna show you how much power we used on a set of two um, Lion Energy UT1300 batteries over a three day trip. And when I talk about a three day trip, I mean, we're using the inverter to run the coffee pot in the morning. We use it to uh, watch TV or a movie, whether it's in the morning or usually when we um, pack up or unpack, we'll throw a movie on for our daughter just so she's not getting under the trailer when we're trying to hitch up or unhitch. We like to keep her in her own little area so we know where she's at at all times so we don't accidentally you know she's not getting her fingers into something um, while we're pushing the slide out out or we're really doing something so um, we probably have on this trip i think we watched uh, she watched about three videos um, and it was rainy a little bit so there wasn't quite a lot to do when it rained um, and we all kind of stuck inside during the rain so we were running more lights than usual the microwave and the coffee pot every day um, and so we're gonna go ahead and see how much power we actually used. So what I did was I pulled these batteries out of the trailer and I'm just manually charging them, but I'm also tracking our charge rate on our amp meter so I can actually see how much power I'm putting in. And through this trip, uh, we've got 200 watts of solar on the camper, but we really did not, I think every day we maybe got about three to four amp hours just because we were deep in the trees and there was really no sun available to charge for us. So um, we've gone on a tr camping trip before and we were getting about 45 amp hours of charge a day, uh, but not this trip. So this is strictly, we use the batteries and really they did not get a lot of charge. So let's look at the amp meter and see what we're at. So you might recognize this test rig in some other videos, but um, so we've got our time-lapse camera so we can actually go through and watch. This is taking a picture every 30 seconds um, of what, of what uh, we're doing for a charge rate in amp hours. So let's zoom in on this and we are about, uh, I think it's about seven hours. We did about four hours yesterday and of course the uh, timer reset but the amp hour meter did not. Um, and we've put about 44 amp hours of charge into the battery. When we started uh, these Lion Energy batteries, they have this charge meter and we were about 60% on the charge meter um, and now it's showing about full. So we should be close to full. Um, and one funny thing, oh, there we go. One funny thing that I did learn about our charger so we've got a two amp, a 10 amp, and a 50 amp cycle on this charger. And we're charging at the 10 amp. And it's really funny because we're only getting about six amps um, of charge. And I did test the meter against, I've got another charger that'll charge up to about uh, four amps. And I ran it through a few different amps of si amps that, because I know exactly what the output is because of the digital display on the other charger and it is exact. So our 10 amp charger is only putting out about five to six amps. Let's go down to two amps and see. So really if I go to, so I'm at the 10 amp, but if I go down to the two amp trickle, it's not even 
going. Then if I go to the, go to the 50 amp start, it's only going to about 15 amps of charge. So I don't know if that's the battery kind of regulating that a little bit or or what, but um, the it does not look like the two amp. is doing anything right now. Um, but yeah, at 10 amps, we're only getting about six. So um, this is an older charger. I'm not sure how old, um, but kind of, uh, I haven't used it much. It, uh, it does well, but it shows it's putting out about 10 amps, but we're only getting about six. So, um, and then when I do kick it up to 50 amps, it shows it's almost at about 20 and it's only putting out 14 so the gauge on it just really does not work well and it's just not outputting what it is so um, obviously if it was putting out the full 10 amps we could charge this battery from zero to full in about 10 hours but um, so don't ignore how long it's taking because it's only a six amp charge um, so we're just looking at strictly how much amp hours we used so um, basically we've got two batteries and we're only charging one so, so far we've theoretically used about 88 amp hours in both batteries. So we'll keep this on the charger and then let you know when it's done, how many amp hours we used over a three day span. Okay, so we just finished charging and the BMS turned the battery charger off. So we've got 56.7 amp hours that we put into the battery and we had two batteries. So we used about 112 amp hours of power on a three day trip. Um, if we would have had our old batteries, the lead acid, we would have only had 90 amp hours of usable energy. And so we could not have even done a three day trip without charging. So these Lion Energies really saved the day. Um, if this video helps you uh, see how much power a trailer can consume when you're out um, camping and also helps you learn to upgrade things, uh, make sure to subscribe um, and hopefully you can learn something else for your travels. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Perfect.